there's so much. I wish you knew what I know or seen what I have saw. This is not just something that we read about, ladies and gentlemen. This stuff is real. When you hear about the forces in heaven and the family that's in heaven, they really there. This is not fable and folklore. The almighty God that sits in the heavens above the heavens, he's there. There's no need to testify because testimony is not more powerful than the word of God. The Lord wants you to believe those scriptures. And he shows up. It's not for us to tempt him. It's not for us to get ourselves in something just to see him show up. I'm going to stand in front of this mat truck. You're going to see him, but you ain't going to be alive no more. <laughs> but Lord, you showed up. You're going to be like, no, you showed up. <laughs> Maybe you go out in the Black Lives Movement and punch a cop in the face, okay? <laughs> Where's the Lord, my God? No, but you let them come to us. Then you're supposed to have all the confidence in the world. You're supposed to know that all it is is a matter of time. <laughs> That's all it is. And you're supposed to let them know as well. Remember that mother with her sons? You know how, how horrible that was? The summons up courage like that? As they trying to talk nicely and try to, you know, compromise one of her sons, she was laughing hysterically. <laughs> her children being maimed and killed right in front of her. She started laughing hysterically because she knew something. And she told, she taught them boys, and she told them boys as the way she taught them, don't you do this. Don't you give in to these demons. Whatever hand you lose, whatever body part you lose, like you didn't have it in the beginning, and God gave it to you, he can give it right back to you again. Keep your faith in God. God. This is what, I'm telling you, this is what they're afraid of. This is what they're afraid. They're afraid of this. Something that, you know, when you have that mindset, there's nothing that they can do to you. Esau come to you and he want to, you know, make a mockery of you and get you to have a conversation. Everybody with common sense knows that everything that you say is going to be used against you. Everybody knows that. They're not there to help you. Everybody knows that. That's just the, the smartest thing you can do. The dumbest thing you can do is run your mouth. That's the stupidest thing you do. If you don't believe me, watch the first 48, okay? Oh, you just don't believe me. Thug nigga coming in, thugged out. I don't give a damn about nothing. I kill a nigga and I wish a nigga would. You know. After two minutes, that guy, <laughs> Nino Brown did it. That's the stupidest thing you could do. If you don't, you know, believe me, go before, go back into the scriptures when Christ went before those demons. They was asking him all kinds of questions. He was just sitting there quiet looking at him. Are you a king? Well, isn't that what you're saying? <laughs> the greatest example going to always be Jesus. Does everybody understand that? Always. The only time he says something is when he had to say something. When they say, don't you know I got the power to kill you? He was like, okay, wait a minute. <laughs> Let me make this clear, okay? You ain't got no power. No power to do nothing, okay? I lay down my life for the sheep. You ain't got no power over me. When you're in the spirit of God, you are strong. You are strong. When you're not in that spirit, you're weak. If you want to know where the weakness is from, it's that flesh. You're not in the spirit. You have no strength. All of you that have like, like, well, most of you, just give you an example. To have like, like, when you get up, you grunt, ugh, ugh, and you just call it age, you know. <laughs> Actually, you know what it is? Is you weak, and you feeling the weakness. All this, all the support that's supposed to support in the bones is no longer there. The muscles, you know, the hardness, everything is flabby and soft. It is. 
check out yourself. Check yourself out. <laughs> so there's the proper support, the stuff that makes you move. Everything the way the Lord designed this body is, it helps you move. So now you're having a problem moving. Ugh. Ugh, it's stiff, it hurt. <laughs> let you let the muscles deteriorate. When you're noticing that you're not the way that you're supposed to be according to scripture, it's because you're weak. You're not, you have not built up spiritually. There's no greater feeling, none greater, when you are in the spirit. When the Lord said there shall not be a man that can stand before you, there's no greater feeling than that. There's no greater feeling than nobody that can intimidate you. Nobody that can make you afraid. There's no greater feeling than always feeling confident and bold in righteousness. There's no greater feeling than having faith and knowing that your faith is strong, that what you believe, you actually really expect it to happen. There's no greater feeling than that. And when you're not feeling that way, it's because you let you leave in the source, you leave them, you, you, you far away from the power. The Lord said, draw nigh unto me, and I will draw nigh unto you. When you don't feel that way, it's because you stop, you stop that praying without ceasing. You stop that studying. You stop that admiring, admiring the most high God. How you just sit back and think about Christ and just admire him, his greatness. How you, can, you only can see these things in spirit. You can't see it. And when you're carnal, you're bored with what you're reading. You don't see the true significance and meanings of things. Brothers and sisters, to win this battle, to make it to the kingdom with everybody else, you got to be strong. This demon ain't playing with you. What, it's taken me a long time to explain on why is this happening now? It's because the Lord, it's time for them to come down. They implement their plans, they do, and the Lord is disappointing their devices, and he's passing judgment, so they're attacking Israel. The battle is on. And they're going to be wicked as hell, so you're supposed to be as righteous as heaven. It's time, because there's no greater feeling than walking around knowing that your God is with you. Do everybody understand that? So now, here's the scripture. Let's go to the book of Revelations. Revelations chapter 13. So you're going to be laughing like that mother during the time of the Maccabees. The wicked going to come trying to intimidate you and scare you and talk about what they can do and what's going to happen. You, <laughs> you don't know what's going to happen. And your confidence, is supposed to, your confidence is supposed to break their soul. They're supposed to look you in your eyes and see you ain't playing. This man actually believes what he's there to say. It's not for you to get dumb to believe and your spirit is broken when they don't believe. It's, it's for them to know that you believe what you're saying. I don't believe that. Look at the damn what you believe. I do. And I'm telling you that this is what's going to go down. Revelation 13, verse 13. Read it. And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven. That's Revelation 13, so Revelation 12, I'm sorry. That's the demon deceiving, the dragon. Revelation chapter 12, verse 13. Read it. And when the dragon saw that he was cast onto the earth. Okay, yeah, when they see they're losing. When they see the Lord is going to judge them, then they, okay, if we're getting judged already, we might as well go out fighting. So they're going to come. When he saw that he was cast to the earth, read on. He persecuted the woman. He did what? Persecuted the woman. Read on. Which brought forth the man child. This is war. That's what the Bible calls it. It calls it war. When you jump to verse 17, jump to verse 17. Read it. And the dragon was wroth with the woman. Come on. And went to make war. Did what? Went to make war. Read on. With the remnant of her seed. Which keep the commandments of God. Come on. And have the testimony of Jesus Christ. Okay, for you to for you to feel like these scriptures ain't supposed to come to pass, you don't belong in the Israelite Church of God and Jesus Christ. You're supposed to know what to expect. 
come against the ones that's doing everything right. And I mean, you in the church, you're supposed to be able to see this. You can't even go and celebrate your holiday, okay? Without getting cursed out. <laughs> you just there to have a good time, and people there watching you mad as hell, and they're going to write an article and say you having a hate meeting. <laughs> they just mad because you're doing what's right. You got all Hollow's Eves, or what, Halloween, huh? Fools walking around, grown as hell, dressed like demons, okay? Don't have no idea what that thing is really uh, associated with, which is the worship of pagan gods from the very beginning. And nobody speaks against that. <laughs> no articles. Look at the fools. Dressed up in costume, dumb as hell. Yeah? You put no candy on your door and they still ringing the bell. <laughs> You come out and look, okay? Try to be nice as a little kid. Look at the parents. You, you see this? <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Want to harass some candy out of you? This is <laughs> grown ass. Excuse me, see? Him. see? <laughs> be brought to the 42. Looking at some of you elect ladies in here. <laughs> grown as hell, okay? What I was about to say is grown ass man, okay? I can say it. What do you think this is? I know what I can say, you know? I'm just older now. I'm more discreet, okay? When I was younger, I didn't give a damn. You know? Understand ramifications and repercussions of the unlearned, okay? So I just stay away from certain things, even though I could, like the Apostle Paul said, okay? Praise God, all right? Grown people, grown folk, costume more elaborate than the kid. <laughs> Yo, the kid got something from Party City, and damn, they got something that they all over the internet. It's probably a thousand dollars. Know? <laughs> but you want to persecute us for just trying to hold a righteous event, and we try to stay away from you too. Okay, <laughs> it ain't like we want to be around them, and you know, we want to get the hell away from you. And, you know? And they just can't stop focusing on what we're doing. If you don't understand that we the ones, I don't. What else got to be showed to you? You in here? Everything is. And some of you been in here for a long time. A lo I mean, over ten years. Some of you got going on twenty years. All you see is righteous. That's all you see. You think we're gonna be able to pretend that long? Got to hide it from you that long. Damn, that person's still watching. It's been twenty years now. Damn. I don't know when we're going to really get to be ourselves. <laughs> you know what you're saying? You don't let some disgruntled bum try to tell you this is what's really going on, then you should see it. Come on now. Went to make war with the remnant of a seed, which kept commandment. Keep commandment or kept commandment? What does it say? Which keep commandment. Which keep commandment. Keep, right, not kept. Keep. The only place that you're going to have to give an answer if you ain't do something that God says. You didn't make the Sabbath? Come and talk to us about that. Because we watch for your soul. You ain't making the high holy days. You ate something on the Day of Atonement. It's the only place that's going to make you think about stuff like that. Who else is keeping commandments? Are you serious? 